Here in Studio One, there's a feature called Retrospective Record that lets you capture your performances even if you're not recording. So for example, say I play, and I'm kind of just messing around, but I'm like, wow, that was so amazing. I wish I would have been recording. Well, you don't have to with Retrospective Record. So all I have to do now is press Shift and then the asterisk on the numpad and boom, let me get this out of the way. So we can uh, so we can see it here and boom right there it is everything that I played even though I wasn't recording there it is right and this even works with other types of MIDI data uh, for example so say I'm messing around with my uh, mod wheel or something again I'm not even playing back here so wow that was amazing I wish I had you know I wish I was recording no need shift asterisk on your numpad and right there it is even with all of that uh, modulation data which you can see right there all of that was captured as well of course this works even if you're playing back but not recording so for example say that we have uh, this drum track here right so maybe we're playing along with that or something so let's just play back okay Wow, that was so amazing. I wish I was recording and not just playing back. Again, no problem with retrospective record. Shift, asterisk, and right there it is. And that performance, uh, which obviously was just an example, but that performance is all in time exactly how I played it as we were playing back, okay? You get the idea. Now, there are some things to understand about retrospective record in the play versus stop states and that if the transport is playing but you're not recording, then the captured events are stored with the correct song location and the input quantize uh, if you have that uh, active. And if it's stopped, then the captured events are stored with times that are relative to each other. You also have to understand that the buffer does not combine the events that are captured uh, when the transport is playing versus events when the transport is stopped. So it will essentially what they're saying is it's going to overwrite. So what that means, let me just explain real quick here, uh, exactly what that means. So say I'm playing back here. And I'm playing along. I'm not recording, I'm just playing along, right? Wow, amazing performance. I need to recall that. But before I recall it, I then start doing this. Okay, so since I did that with the transport stopped when previously it was playing back, now I have overwritten that cache or that buffer. So if I do shift and the asterisk, then it just recalls that part that I played there uh, when the transport was stopped, okay? So you can also, by the way, you can also see your retrospective record and, and the buffer by going to the track inspector right up here. And right there, you're gonna see the retrospective record. You'll notice that as soon as I start playing something here, that turns red, meaning there's something in that, right? And I can also recall that instead of pressing shift and the asterisk on the numpad, I can just come over here and go boom, and that's gonna recall that as well. So that can be helpful if maybe you're working on a laptop that doesn't have a numpad, you can always just come in here and recall it like that as well. You know, I use the Asus Rogue Strikes G16. It has this really cool feature. I can just press down in the upper area of the trackpad, and then a numpad appears, which is really cool because now I can do all my shortcuts, you know, that I need to uh, uh, do, even if I don't have my, you know, full keyboard connected to that laptop. Great laptops, not just for audio production, but also for video production. They're extremely powerful. You know, it's great for editing. I use it with DaVinci Resolve all the time for 4K stuff, uh, even H.265 stuff. It's great computers, great laptops. Uh, Asus Rogue Strikes G16, awesome laptops. And that, that little feature there for uh, calling up that numpad is also pretty cool whenever you're just using the laptop and you don't have all these accessories connected. So that is Retrospective Record here in Studio One. A way for you to recall your genius performances, even if you're not recording.